Hey everybody, it's Miss Rose. Hope everybody's ready to start our week um, with a story. Um, I know these are some new characters that you um, will remember we've read about before, so I'm excited to share them for you. Um, we're going to be reading for, um, another story from Frog and Toad, and it's going to be The Kite from Days with Frog and Toad. Um, so, I thought I might as well read it to you. Um, quickly, we're going to do our words um, that we're going to know. I did do a little um, video in the lessons. If you find it, there's a really neat little blog that has lots of stuff, um, activities that go along with this story this week. So, maybe if you have time, you can check it out. Um, ooh, but this is what you're getting ready for. The word is second. It says the boy is trying to tie his second sneaker. This word is ball. She practiced until she could hit the ball well. Across. The runners dashed across the finish line. Head. He hit the ball with his head to make a goal. Heard. The children heard clapping at the end. Large. It was not too hard for, to ride up the large hill. Cried. We can do it, cried the team. And a tricky one, should. The teacher said that she should try again. So we'll see all those words in the story and I hope you can um, find some time this week to practice those as well. Also, while we're listening to the story, I want you to be thinking about who are our characters in the story? What's the setting? Where is it? And the plot, and remember the plot is what happens in the story. In this story, I really want you to think about what was the problem and how did they solve it? And you've got a little story map um, in the lesson plans that you can do with this. So we're also gonna look at how, why is this story, the kite from the days with frog and toad, what makes it a fantasy? So we know that fantasy means that it's usually when animals can talk and we know frog and toad can talk so that it's animal fantasy. And we know that there's some things that really couldn't happen. So when you're listening to the story, think about the characters, the setting, the plot, and what makes this fantasy. All right, the kite. Look at Frog and Toad, check them out. They're on the hill. Have you ever flown a kite before? This is a good time to do it if you haven't. Frog and Toad went out to fly a kite. They went out to a large meadow where the wind was strong. Our kite will fly up and up, said Frog. It will fly all the way up to the top of the sky. Toad, said Frog, I will hold the ball of string. You hold the kite and run. So if you've ever tried to fly a kite before, you definitely have to get running to get it going. Toad ran across the meadow. He ran as fast as his short legs could carry him. The kite went up into the air. It fell to the ground with a bump. Toad heard laughter. Three robins were sitting in a bush. Why do you think those robins are laughing? Did that kite just fall to the ground? If you've ever flown a kite, you know that sometimes, or a lot of times, that can happen. And that kite will not fly, said the robins. You may as well give up. Toad ran back to Frog. Frog, said Toad, this kite will not fly. I give up. So right here we see the problem of the story. What problem are Frog and Toad having? How do you think they could solve it? We must have a second try, said Frog. Wave the kite over your head. Perhaps that will make it fly. Toad ran back across the meadow. He waved the kite over his head. Hmm, you think that's going to solve it, guys? The kite went up in the air and then fell down with a thud. What a joke, said the robins. That kite will never get off the ground. Hmm, I wonder how he's going to solve their problem. Toad ran back to Frog. This kite is a joke, he said. It will never get off the ground. We have to make a third try, said Frog. Wave the kite over your head and jump up and down. Perhaps that will make it fly. Do you think that's going to make it fly? Toad ran across the meadow again. He waved the kite over his head. He jumped up and down. The kite went up in the air and crashed down in the grass. Can you imagine how silly he looked doing that? That kite.
kite is junk, said the robins. Throw it away and go home. Toad ran back to Frog. This kite is junk, he said. I think we should throw it away and go home. Toad, said Frog, we need one more try. Wave the kite over your head, jump up and down and shout, up, kite, up. Toad ran across the meadow. He waved the kite over his head. He jumped up and down and he shouted, up, kite, up. Do you think it's gonna work? <gasps> the kite flew into the air. It climbed higher and higher. We did it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. If a running try did not work, a running and waving try did not work, a running, waving, and jumping try did not work, I knew that a running, waving, jumping, and shouting try just had to work. Do you think that's what really made it work? What do kites need to really work? I love that frog and toad are so silly. The robins flew out of the bush, but they could not fly as high as the kite. Frog and Toad sat and watched their kite. It seemed to be flying way up at the top of the sky. Yay! So they were successful finally with all the, the things that they, different things that they tried. Um, finally, they were able to fly that kite. I want you to talk about with somebody that's sitting next to you. I want you to think about how did they solve their problem and did the things that they did really solve their problem or was there something else that maybe happened to solve that problem of theirs today? I hope you enjoyed that story and um, we'll be working on it throughout this week. And as you know, there's lots of good frog and toad stories out there. So if you have some at your house, maybe you want to pull them out this week or if you um, have some on the computer that you want to listen to. Um, but miss everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. And I will see you all this week. Miss you. Bye.